understanding all that. It was the moment the about-to-be-convicted killer did not want to face. You give up your right to be present while the verdicts are read here in open court. Yes. The judge granted the request, and over the intercom to his holding cell, Richard Ramirez heard the verdicts. Guilty of murder. Thirteen murders. Guilty of rape. Eleven sex crimes. Guilty of burglary at the residence of dwelling house. Nineteen additional felonies. Guilty. Guilty on all counts. And when the prosecutors and investigative team emerged into the court's overcrowded hallway, their relief was apparent. Relieved is a good word. Glad it's over. Legal proceedings against the devil-worshipping drifter began four years ago. Early on, he had displayed a satanic symbol and proclaimed, Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Ramirez became less talkative when trial itself finally began nine months ago. The prosecution presented 138 witnesses, their testimony filling 8,000 pages, but never did the jury hear from Ramirez himself. His attorney said the verdicts elicited no reaction from Ramirez in his cell. He was not surprised uh, at all. Like I said, he, he expected this uh, decision to come down. He felt from weeks behind back that he could not get a fair trial. Jurors cannot yet discuss the case publicly because they still must decide the punishment. But it is clear it has not been easy for them, particularly not after one of the original jurors was murdered last month by her suicidal boyfriend. But with an alternate, the jury restarted and took 22 days of deliberation. The lead prosecutor is not ready to relax. I do not lose sight of the fact that we have more to do, and uh, we don't want any glitches between now and the end of this, or else we talk about having to do the whole thing over. To date, it has cost taxpayers more than a million and a half dollars. Next week, the jury will be asked to decide the fate of Ramirez. Defense attorneys do not want to discuss what evidence they'll present at the penalty phase. They don't want to reveal how they'll try to persuade the jury not to send Ramirez to death row. But the defense did say Ramirez himself will not take the stand to argue for his own life. Patrick Healy, Channel 4 News, downtown Los Angeles.